All right, let's get you started on this one with the overall reaction, and then you can finish uh, as something I'll check, the TIE and the NIE. So the overall reaction um, is going to be sodium sulfate and barium nitrate. So sodium sulfate, sometimes it helps me just to write out the ions. Because when I write out these two ions, I see that it's a two minus charge for sulfate and a plus one charge here. So that's gonna be sodium sulfate, Na2SO4. And another hint is that anything that is on the reactant side for these is typically, or I'm gonna say always, uh, unless I tell you otherwise, aqueous. And barium nitrate, barium is in group two, nitrate, NO3 minus. Looks like we have a two to one ratio here as well, except now the nitrate is going to be the one with two of them because barium has plus two. Now the products for this, remember, are to switch the partners up. So an Na plus here and an NO3 minus. Each of those is plus one minus one. So that's just gonna be NaNO3. And rule number one for solubility says that anything with sodium is soluble. Rule number two says anything with nitrate is soluble. That gets the big AQ. And the other one, barium sulfate. Now I have a plus two and a minus two. So no parentheses needed, BASO4. And if we look at our solubility rules, it says that Except for rule one, oh, no, sulfates. All sulfates are soluble, except those of barium. Oh, stop there. So there's our solid. And what I want you to do is write the TIE. TIE is going to have all of the aqueous species broken up into their ions, not the solid, and then do the NIE as well. Similar to the last part of the last video we did. And we're gonna move on to subtype two of the double replacement reactions. So we're still under DR double replacement. And this is gonna be the neutralization of a strong acid and a strong base that produces water and a salt. And so we could write uh, acid plus base produces water plus salt where salt is a here used as a generic term to mean an ionic compound that is soluble. And if you've ever heard me refer to table salt as uh, NaCl, that's to differentiate it from the fact that in chemistry there are a bunch of other salts. Now let's review our strong acids. Remember there are only seven of them. So HCl, HBr, HI, so hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydroiodic acid, uh, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, which is the only one with an H2, chloric and perchloric. Those are the only seven acids that we're gonna be able to do acid-base reactions in this course. As you move on to other courses, you'll be able to broaden this as you go deeper in the chemistry onion. And strong bases, well, as far as this course is concerned, it's only the group one hydroxides so sodium, I guess I could have done these in order, but I'm not. Sodium, lithium, potassium, rubidium, all hydroxide. And again, your definition of those strong bases will broaden as you move on, but that's good enough for now. And so here we're gonna do hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Oh, let's go back one time here, sorry. So, uh, one other thing, strong acids and strong bases, 
are both strong electrolytes, or so all strong electrolytes. And uh, let's stop there. If you have questions about it, please ask. There are some complicating things there, but um, but otherwise, so true, true fact, they're all strong electrolytes. So when we're dealing with them, we will break them up 100% in our TIE, our total ionic equation. So uh, HCl is going to be reacting with sodium hydroxide. Both of them are soluble. Both of them are aqueous. And this is a double replacement reaction. So we're going to take the acid and the base, uh, break them down into their constituent parts. Here we have H plus and Cl minus. Here we have Na plus and hydroxide minus. And to make the products, remember you just switch partners. So this H plus is going to go with this OH minus. And this is a little weird. They're going to make water, H2O. So please don't write it H-O-H. That is sort of how they go together, but H2O is water and it is a liquid. Good. And our other one is sodium chloride, which we know is soluble. This time there is no solid. That's one of the reasons that this is a different type of reaction. No precipitate. We are actually going to form water here. And when we do our TIE, remember, break up everything that's aqueous into its um, uh, ions. So, uh, and again, these are all three strong electrolytes. And in particular, what's new is that strong acids are strong electrolytes. True. So, oh, check that it's balanced. It is balanced, good news. So, uh, nothing to do there. H plus plus Cl minus. Break up sodium hydroxide into sodium ions and hydroxide ions. And Solids, liquids, and gases do not break up. That's our rule, and I'll explain more about that in a minute. And then we have another aqueous species here. Like so. That is our total ionic equation. We very much are trying to say that before you mix them together, these two in their separate test tubes or beakers are all ions floating around in solution and uh, until they make water. Now, remember to move from your TIE to your NIE, you cross out spectator ions and you're looking for spectator ions that are exactly the same on both sides. So here's a Cl minus aqueous and here's a Cl minus aqueous. Here is a sodium and here is a sodium, exactly the same on both sides. There's an H plus here, and there's no H plus on the other side. So it stays. Oh, and I'll just write spectators here. The chloride and the sodium ions. Uh, keep their phases. And we end up with H2O. And what we said before was that when you do the net ionic equation, it shows you the chemical reaction. It shows you the bonds forming. And this time, so there's going to be a covalent bond formed. And it's a covalent bond because this is two nonmetals. Previously, we saw two uh, ions coming together to form an ionic compound. This is a covalent bond formed. We can call it a covalent compound or we can call it a molecular compound. Either way is fine with me. And um, so if the so if we like to ask our net ionic equations question, questions, question net ionic equation, what kind of bond is formed a covalent bond.
Uh, do I have another page here I'm supposed to have? I don't think so. Let's stop there.